And now, your host, Couch Tomato! I don't think anybody could say this movie is bad. I just think you, I could agree if you say that it's just boring. Like there's, and that's what you struggle with with comedies. How long with this was this movie? Is if anybody knows, Whew, like hour an twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you want to check the times. You want you want to stay at ninety minutes. It just felt like this movie was on some you know Batman Begins type stuff. Like yeah, they, <laughs> they they stretched it. Is this movie funny? Like when it and the reason I ask. It's because when it comes to comedies, for me, it's a love-hate relationship. Like, I grew up with comedies being my favorite genre. Right. But I just really think it's impossible for Hollywood to make funny movies. And I want you to chime in as well, um, Hulk. At certain parts, I thought it was clever. When he made the the joke about, like, Native Americans and, and crackers. Yeah, the like, crackers. Bro, that was hilarious. Bro, did, Those like, funny moments. That, like, let me tell you, like, the scenes that they was, were doing, Hulk. That was brilliant. When you, when you watch that, that whole opening, when they're... Just singing praises to the gods, yeah. and then how it was religious undertones in there, like lot, how people, yeah, 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 how like religious people act, and I'm like, okay, they're being smart here, and just like you yeah, said, when, when grits, the unperishables, they they were, I thought they were funny, and then also when you know the whole thing about um, honey mustard falling out of the cart. And how that they acted hilarious. like it was a war scene. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, brilliant. But then after a while, like, I really think that uh, when when they went to the house and they the part that you see in the trailer and yeah. they see how hu- humans treat them, we should have seen more scenes outside of the grocery store. Because when I tell you that grocery store just stopped being fun once yeah. we saw humans out outdoors, I'm like, why are they still in this grocery store? Oh, shoot. Frank's the main character, not Barry. <laughs> You know, like yeah, I felt, yeah. I, I felt we should have seen more of Barry. Like there was funny stuff happening. Yeah, like, you, you know, there's a scene with a condom that I thought was funny. There's a scene where it looks like it. I, I'm believing that was like a piece of crap, and yeah. um, I thought that was funny as well. But we just don't see too much of that stuff. So yeah, because it threw me off. Like when we didn't see Barry for like a good what half hour, maybe full hour uh, into like I, in the middle part of the movie, I was like, wait, didn't you just set him up <laughs> throughout the whole introduction? You Bro, know what I'm when I tell you, I tell you, Barry, Barry was set up. He just like what uh, WB does, where they always claim, well, so much of Barry's scenes were cut out. I think they're they're gonna <laughs> um, play play that WB card and be like, well, we got an extended cut, cut was, coming up, and and it makes no sense for this movie because it's rated R. So why would you hold back? But nonetheless, let's let's talk about characters that worked because you brought up some of the. Funniest characters I thought in this movie were the unperishables, which are yep. the uh, the spirit, which is the Native American guy. That was funny. Craig Robinson does this thing on he's being racist when he brings yeah. up the word cracker, but it's the way he um it was hilarious. He yeah, uses it. that's why. Yeah, yeah. Was, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. And that I whole... thought that was a, a a great. That's what I mean. Like you substitutes instead of using like a curse word every yeah. time. You could be way funnier when you they bring up stuff that's that so going. innocent. They kept that momentum going, and it would have been funny. It was hilarious. Yeah, I, I mean, did we actually I, get I to felt, see the crackers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end, he's like going to town on the crackers. Like, oh, um, and okay. I sound racist when I say that. Without, if you don't watch the movie <laughs> in context, and you know the, I, and I'm like, well, cursing isn't a joke unless you like add some brilliance to it's it. It's an art, exactly. Well, yeah. So that, that, that's why, like, it's it's so tough to be funny without cursing. Like right. you have to yeah. find substitutes for words and things of that nature. But when this, when this movie ran out, of, ran out of jokes, all they did was just fill it up with, with curse words. I don't really got problems with that. Like it's a rated art comedy. I know what I'm getting, but when the joke is the F word itself, yeah. I'm like, okay, exactly. y'all just, y'all just threw that in the scene because the scene isn't really funny. Yeah. And, and if I yell like at um, Marlon Wayans, he's like the stellest person in Hollywood to me. <laughs> Because he he does that type of comedy, like with the, you know, that juvenile stuff like, hey, watch me fart or hey, watch me make yeah, a cock, yeah, 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 a cock yeah. joke. Yeah. I got to get on this movie too. Like a lot of these parts, like whenever the movie felt like it wasn't funny anymore, because it's a lot of scenes that are just boring. And with animation, I think it's so, it's difficult to be boring with animation. All you right. got to do is really be brilliant. What they did was they just said, all right, when we're not funny, let's just make the character gay because gayness is hilarious. All right. When we're not funny, let's just use the F word because F words they're hilarious. And mm-hmm. when we're not funny, let's just make cock jokes because cock jokes are freaking hilarious. So 
it's it's like after that first like they started off so strong and you just saw yeah. the movie like I'm just like hurry up let me just go home yeah, and record the this concept podcast. of the movie held on for the first 10 15 minutes 15 20 minutes and it was like okay yeah and then boom okay man we we ran out even though I personally didn't fall in love with this film I do uh-huh. think that when it's all said and done and December rolls around and we're going to look at the comedies that came out this year, you're going to place this in your top three comedy. That that wow. doesn't really, it's not a testament to the film. It's more a testament to where Hollywood just doesn't make funny movies. It's impossible for, <laughs> it's impossible to make funny movies nowadays, I think. So, were there any funny movies that came out this nah, year? F- funny movies don't exist. That's what I'm, tr- that's the point I'm trying to make. Comedy is down. Yeah! Wow, comedy is dead. Horrible, bro. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing with horror. Oh, Ghostbusters. Woof. And you know what? You like tomato, and you like tomato, potato, potato, tomato. Let's call 